My, 23M, ex-girlfriends, 23F, new boyfriend messaged me in the middle of the night. I got ghosted a little over year ago. It was ugly. I was a mess. Started journaling on a separate Reddit. After a few months I stopped journaling and started focusing on an album I was producing as part of my healing process. Morning of Thanksgiving, 2022, in the middle of the night. I get a text from an unknown number telling me to stop making posts about my pain and to get over the fact that I was cheated on. Didn't know I was cheated on until right then. And that my ex had chosen him and they were getting married. I laughed at this because this man is like near 30. And is harassing a complete stranger. They've also known each other for months? At best? I guess my question is. Dot why did this happen? I haven't been in contact with her or her family for over a year and my journal was my place of peace and quiet for venting about my healing and pain. I don't understand what I did to deserve this. If it was such a problem this whole time why wasn't I contacted sooner, by preferably my ex? How did they find my journal? How long had they been reading? I'm so confused. I think you should journal about the 30-year-old loser following and threatening you, and let them read it upside down face. So, a lot of cheaters will put down their spouse to deflect the shame, guilt. I.e., I'm not a shitty person. I did this because they were terrible. This is usually accompanied with lies to make the spouse look worse. Or they're just genuinely terrible people. End of the day, fuck em. Keep doing you. Honesty it happened because she is a terrible human being. If she knew your Reddit username before she was clearly just keeping tabs on you. I'd start writing more except now you can definitely say you were cheated on and out her to her family. Yes I'm petty but so what? Refocus on you and block any of their contact attempts. Keep posting your healing journey. Obviously he's a fan. Update. Not letting my niece perform at my wedding. Hello everyone. I am not sure if this is allowed but I wanted to just give an update for anyone that was following along with all of this crazy stuff. First and foremost, thank you to everyone who has given me advice and support in your comments and DMS. Jay and I deeply appreciate it. I was not expecting a lot of people to even read this let alone care enough to respond so thank you all so much. Also, I wanted to answer some questions some of you had before I give an update. 1. Jay. A lot of people were telling me that this was Jay's responsibility since it's his sister. When this all went down, Jay was ready to scorch earth. He was already drafting an email calling his sister out and sending an email to his family telling his family telling them what happened and that she was not going to be invited. I was the one who wanted to wait until we had a plan and eliminate all. What ifs, I think Jay was, is a lot more upset than I am, which is a lot. Jay agreed with writing this on here to gain a little advice from outside sources. Just wanted to clear this up and let everyone know he was just as much involved in this situation too. Mary. Someone asked what was Mary's part in this. Did she send the video maliciously? Did she instigate this whole situation? The short answer is no. She sent that video to us and called us right after. She has always defended me and shut all of Regina's things down right away. She responded to Regina saying that whatever game she is trying to play will not work and she will tell everybody all the things Regina has pulled if she didn't grow up. We had spoken to Mary and she told us it was okay to tell Regina that she sent the video to us. 3. A lot of people were saying the obvious, it's your wedding, don't let her perform, which I know. Obviously, I decided Emma will not be performing. However, I want to eliminate the chance for anything else Regina might want to pull. I've known her long enough to know that she will one way or another do something to knock me down or turn the spotlight on her, which a lot of you pointed out. I also came on her for some help because I don't want to spend my entire wedding looking over my shoulder and always on the defense in case she tied to do something which a lot of you pointed out was inevitable. So many of you helped me realize that what I was thinking didn't make me the bad guy, it's my day. So thank you everyone again. On to the update. Two days after I posted, Jay and I called Regina on his phone. I used my phone, not sure if it's illegal. Just so we had proof of anything she would say that she could lie about in the future. Jay decided to take the lead in case she tried to act like this was all me. He wanted to make sure she knew this was his decision too. The conversation went like this, paraphrasing here, but this is the gist, J. Regina, throw our wedding all and I decided it would not be appropriate for Emma to perform at our wedding. Regina. No. Katie's performing so that's not fair. J. Katie is singing a 45 second song that is meaningful to throw our wedding all and me. Emma performing a comedy is not appropriate for our wedding. 
She can perform at family dinner the night before or she can privately perform for just the two of us but we do not want a comedy act at the reception. Regina. No. She wants to perform in front of people. If Katie is, then Emma should too. Jay. Okay. Katie will perform for just the two of us then so it's fair. Regina. Well she still wants to perform in front of people. Jay. It's not her day. You do realize no one performs stand-up at a wedding right? She's 10, she'll get over it. Regine. How dare you? Me. Regina, you never told us what Emma will be saying. You said it's a surprise but Mary told us what Katie will be doing beforehand and that's why we agreed. We have a problem letting Emma do this especially since we do not know what she will be doing. This received a fist bump from Jay Law. Regina. It's a surprise. It's funny. It's harmless. Jay. It's our wedding. Emma will not be getting a mic for her to spew rude comments towards my wife for you to laugh. Regina. I have no idea what you're talking about. Jay. You do know what I am talking about and it's childish that you're lying about it. Emma is not a vessel for your poor comments. She will not be performing at our wedding. If you try anything, you will be removed from our wedding. Regina. You can't do that. She's 10. She has a medical condition. Throw ra wedding all your being a bridezilla. Jay. I am the one speaking. This is a mutual choice. Emma is old enough to know that what she is saying is mean. You're old enough to know that you should NT live vicariously through your daughter's childish behavior. I need to hear you say that Emma is not performing and if something happens you will be removed. Regina. Fine. We decided to end the conversation after we got on tape Regina repeating what Jay said. We haven't spoke to her since. A little while later Mary sent a screenshot of Regina calling her all sorts of names for, ratting her out, and, ruining her day, she didn't respond but took pictures just in case. We called Jay's parents and my family to catch them up with what's been going on. Jay's parents were horrified and said that if Regina told any family and they came to them, they would tell them the truth. My family agrees too. I also didn't mention this, but our DJ, Mick is Jay's friend from college. Jay called DJ. Yes that's also his name lol. After we spoke to Regina and told him the gist and to keep the microphone with him at all times and not let them get a chase of any speeches or anything. DJ told us not to worry and that he will keep the attention on us the whole time. So things were pretty smooth since then. Last night however, I got a text from Emma. She has an iPad that she texts from, and guess what it was? A single elephant emoji. I will admit, I did cry. I honestly felt like this was over and things were fine but this felt like a bucket of water dumped on me. Jay texted back to Emma. This is Uncle Jay. What you are doing is not nice. I think you know that what you are doing is mean to your aunt and we do not like it. We love you Emma but we will not let you be mean to us even if it is a joke. And Regina, if this is you, stop, we ended spending the night watching movies and just cooling off from all of this. Anyways, that was the small update. We get married in three days so I will update if anything happens. Thanks again for everything. Sorry for any typos, I am just tired. Edit. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you all for the support and advice. I will definitely update after Wednesday either on my profile or if I can update again here I will. Exclamation mark. I would just uninvited the sister at this point. Clearly the sister puts her daughter in adult business and the sister needs to just not be involved. Thank you everyone for the comments so far. Jay and I are going to tell her she and her daughter will not be coming. Right now we are deciding if we should text, call, or do it face to face. Jesus, just uninvite them, they will 100% pull something to make you cry. 1 billion percent. Please, for your, my, Reddit's mental health uninvite them. I can't see you 20 years from now going through your wedding photos and seeing Regina there and being like, I am glad she was here on our special day, way better to just not invite her and tell security to not let her in. TBH. Nope. Not going to the wedding. People can cry all they want she's an arsehole and so is her kid. Why are you even allowing them to come? My, 27M, girlfriend, 27F, received a text message while we were in bed last night. My, 27M, girlfriend, 27F have been living together for the last three months now. We are mostly studying, 10 hours daily, together at her apartment, her grandparents' apartment, where we are currently living by ourselves. Since I met her she likes talking about her past experiences with dudes which I don't care but it gets annoying when it's too repetitive about it. 
I wouldn't mind if it's something sporadic, but it's really constant. Lately she's been, joking, that's what she says, about this being an open relationship and saying things like she doesn't trust me completely because I don't talk much about my past in terms of partners and sexual stuff, which I don't like talking about it that much. Last night around 11.30pm she was scrolling down her Instagram feed showing me this silly memes while we were laying down in bed watching some TV show when suddenly she gets a notification on Instagram by let's call him Lucas and she proceeded to swipe it up really fast and 5 seconds later the same happened. Few minutes passed and she kept showing me her memes and closes Instagram and swipes down her notification bar and Lucas has sent her a message on WhatsApp saying you fall asleep. And she locked her phone. I want to talk about it and ask her who this guy is but I don't want to sound possessive and stuff. Edit. I forgot to mention that after she swiped up Instagram notifications and locked her phone I simply continued watching TV and she asked me if I was mad or if I still love her. Update. So. I asked her about it and she told me it was her friend from our country. We live in another country at the moment. She told me to check her phone and I declined. We kept talking about how I was feeling and stuff. Then I told her that that wasn't the same last name I saw last night. Then she confessed that it was this guy which another friend introduced her to and that they are talking about networking stuff in the medical field. We are both part of it. She said that she's not interested in him or anything but she doesn't know about him. They only spoke via text messages. Update edit. She's sorry about lying to me blah blah. Update 2. Just left her apartment. Edit. Just to add something extra. That friend who introduced her to Lucas, used to be fuck buddy, when she had a boyfriend at the time equals she cheated to her ex, of her two years ago or so, they chat every single day but, just like friends, because he is in a more advanced level compared to us, medical pathway stuff, so they are doing, networking stuff. Update 3. Okay so tomorrow I'm going back to school to put an end to this. I'm open to more advices and questions and whatever you wanna say. I really appreciate what you guys do for me. Update 4. Big day today. I'll let you guys know how it goes and how I feel. Last update. Job is done. I feel like crap but I'm happy for what I did. Thank you all. I'm here if someone wants to say something else. Love you guys. Sounds like she's already in an open relationship. Dude don't bother asking her. It's clear that she's been talking to this person and hiding it from you. Saying she doesn't trust you is projection because she's not trustworthy. Tell her you know and leave. Peace it's not possessive to not want your girlfriend to cheat on you. Come on man. You know that's a giant red flag. Joking about open relationship to gauge your reaction. She wants to sleep with this dude and wants your blessing under disguise of open relationship. She's fucking Lucas but doesn't want to lose you as Lucas might not have committed to her yet. She's acting very sus with the notifications especially asking if you're mad or if you still love her after she got caught slipping. As for her saying you don't talk about your past, she's just projecting what she's doing behind your back. There are too many red flags here. My, 25M, girlfriend, 26F, of 3 years cheated on me. Brace yourself because this is a long one. I've been dating a single mother for just over 3 years now. Yesterday I received a private message from some random guy on social media and the message said something that my girlfriend sent him nudes recently. I'm not about to trust just any random guy with such accusations so I told him I need proof or I'm blocking him. I didn't expect a reply back but he sent me some photos she sent him and I was able to identify her through piercings. I asked the random guy for the story behind this and he told me he messaged her on social media and asked if she was single. She said she was so I guess he decided to shoot his shot and started talking to her. On Thursday she posted a photo of the two of us and it said how thankful she is to have me. I guess he saw the post and immediately tried getting a hold of me. The guy told me he's been cheated on before and didn't want the same to happen to me. I saved the photos and took screenshots of all the stuff he sent me and sent it to her through text. She denied it at first and then she started to tell me she did send those photos but it was when we first started talking. The photos were definitely not new but I could tell she didn't send them long ago because of the way Instagram looked in the screenshots. After calling her out on this she admitted to sending those photos but she said she sent them long time ago but still during our relationship. Personally, I think I need to call it quits because I don't think I can trust her anymore after this. Not only did she lie straight to my face but she also kept it a secret this whole time. So what do you guys think? Am I in the right to break up with her or am I being too harsh? I'm obviously crushed from all this but I know my worth and I don't deserve any of this.
Edit. Man you guys are awesome. I'm definitely splitting up with her. I appreciate everyone who has commented on this and gave me some great advice. It's a shitty way to end the year but we all know when one door closes, a million other open. Stay safe everyone. You said it king, you don't deserve any of that crap. End the relationship before it turns into a mess, gaslighting, etc. By the way that dude a real one, massive respect. You don't even need to ask. You said it yourself. She crushed you. There is no reason to trust her. The whole thing's been a secret. Cheating is an automatic deal breaker for me. You'd be right to leave her in my opinion. If this happened after you officially became a couple, then it's not acceptable. It does sound like the trust has been broken. And it is more than just pics. She chatted that guy up with the intention to cheat, and even if she wasn't successful in this, the intention was there. If you do decide to leave, I don't think anyone would view you as being harsh for doing so.